Hey everyone, it's Dan here at Evolving SEO and today on No Board SEO we're going to walk through how to upgrade from Yoast, not from Yoast, scratch that, we're going to upgrade from All-in-One or some other SEO plugin to the Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress. By far the best plugin for SEO that you're ever going to use. I love it. I use it for all of my clients. And we're going to walk through some simple steps for how to upgrade. Now, if you're pretty comfortable working in WordPress, working on websites, and you know, you're pretty comfortable with, with SEO concepts, you should be able to do this on your own. If you're, if you're not as comfortable with that stuff, then you might want to get somebody to help you out. But if you want to do it yourself, here's what the steps are. Step number one, you're going to crawl the site, the existing site, without making any changes. Crawl it with like Screaming Frog or Xeno Link Sleuth and save your crawl. You can even export it to CSV. You're going to put that aside for later to make sure that the new site matches the old site, right? So you're going to just put that aside. Then what you want to do, or what I like to do, is take a screenshot of the current settings with my existing plugin. So if it's all in one, all the settings are in one page. You're going to take a scre screenshot of that, because then you're going to save that for later. What, what we want to do is make the Yoast settings match the old settings. Uh, so you've got your CSV, you've got your screenshot ready to go. You can install Yoast, deactivate the old plugin, activate Yoast, and you're going to take that screenshot and you want to make all of Yoast's settings match the prior plugin's settings that you had. So if you were uh, indexing tags, maybe you weren't in indexing categories, uh, you, maybe your titles were like page name, pipe, uh, site name, make all of that stuff match. Because the goal that I like to go for here is to make that a smooth transition from one plugin to the other. So nothing looks different uh, on the surface. So for anybody else looking, looking in like a web crawl or something, it's going to look like all the settings are the same, right? So you're going to do that. And also you don't want to forget to do import, export. You want to import all the old settings from like all-in-one SEO uh, to Yoast, right? So if you set in a, a, a custom page title or meta description or other settings for a specific page or post, you want to make sure to import those into Yoast as well. There is a plugin to import uh, all that data from, from Platinum SEO or some other uh, plugins that aren't supported in the Yoast's import settings. And I'll put a link to that below. So once you've made all the settings the same, you've imported the old custom data, uh, then at that point, you want to crawl the site again. So you've got your old crawl and your new crawl, and just, just take a glance over them and see if they match up, right? See if anything's missing in the new crawl. Make sure the titles are showing up, the descriptions, the canonical tags, the uh, robots, if you're going to no index or no follow anything. Make sure all that stuff's showing up. Also in Yoast, if you're using an existing XML sitemap, you, you may or may not want to use Yoast's XML sitemap. So you can certainly deactivate the old one, activate the one in Yoast. Do make sure to uh, delete the old one from Webmaster Tools and resubmit the new one. So you've done your new crawl. If everything's looking great, then at that point is when I like to decide if the WordPress site in general needs any upgrades, right? If you want to upgrade the structure of the titles or if you want to change descriptions or update the indexation, then you can go ahead and do that. But I like to make the transfer nice and cleanly to Yoast without changing any settings, just basically switching the plugin. And then you can play around with making any new settings that you want. So I hope that that helped out. If you were wondering, uh, I've recorded this, uh, this version of this episode of No Board SEO late at night again. It's almost 10 o'clock here. 
So, but I did get it in on Thursday. I did promise every Tuesday and Thursday to do an episode of new board SEO, of new of new board of no board SEO, and I fit it in at the last minute. So I'll see you again next week for episode 14.